Hi, everyone. So um, I'm going to show you what I want you to do during class today. Okay, so the first thing it is, I'm in my Clever homeroom, and I got there by going up here on the browser over to my C. You should have this because the district had loaded it. Okay, because then you're going to go down here to your IXL. Now, I put mine on my favorites. Yours may be down a little lower, okay? Once I click on my IXL, it'll open me to the window. I've already done it just for time's sake, as it's taking forever. But um, what I'd like you to go to is um, HI1, and that's listed in our folder as well. But what we're going to be practicing is plotting fractions on a number line. And if you need help to get there, you can either go through H or on here, you can also type in fractions on number lines. And that will take you to that, okay? So I was showing you on here when well, we typed it in. So you would type fractions on number lines. And then you would click enter and you see that it'll come up, okay? So here's where we are, we're on HI1, and this one says graph one third on the number line. So what I wanna remind you is my denominator, the number here on the bottom, is going to tell me how many pieces that I have. And what I mean by pieces is this is split from this whole number to this whole number, okay? So we're looking, and this is split into three equal pieces. So they've already drawn it on here. One, two, three. And notice when I say that I don't start at the whole number I was doing. It's this piece here, okay? So that's my one. Here's my second piece. And then here's my third piece. And the numerator, the number on top, tells me how many of those pieces I have. So I have one whole. So this is, or sorry, one whole of the pieces, right? So this is going to be my one third. And I will submit. Okay, the next one is going to be my one half. Okay, this but denominator tells me my my um, space between the whole numbers is split into two equal parts, and I'm going to have one of those two parts. So I'm going to put my mark here, and I'm going to do one, one more example. Okay, and then I'm going to have you go ahead and do this part on your own. This is one of your tasks for today. Okay. So this next one, this one's a little bit trickier, okay? So my denominator is four, which tells me between my two whole numbers, how many pieces it's split into. So here's my one, two, three, four equal pieces, right? That's what my denominator tells me. Now my numerator tells me that I need six of those pieces. And we also know that this is called an improper fraction, right? Improper means the numerator, the number on top, is bigger than my denominator, the number on the bottom, which means I have more than one whole, right? Four over four would be if I was labeling this one whole as a fraction, four over four. So I'd have my four over four, and then I would also have two extra pieces, okay? But we're gonna use our number line to help. So I want six, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I would put that here, okay? Good, because I could also write that as one and two fourths or one and one half, okay? So hopefully you get the idea for that. So you're going to be doing HI1. And now what I want you to do is get right here the SMART score. I want you to try to get to 80. Okay, 80, 80, and it's going to take you into some extra um, challenge questions, okay? All right, the next thing that I want you to do, I'm gonna type it into here, because the other one that we're gonna do is gonna be our word problems, okay? So we're going to say our all operations word problems, and I think that should get us there, and this is gonna be in level F, okay? And I know I had other letters that I could give you, but we can't, oh, Mrs. Marshall, that's not gonna help us. Um, When you go here, so like I said, I want level F. I can do it this way, or I can search the way that I was doing before. Uh, this is not gonna be a helpful one for you guys to get you there. Um, Let me go back out. Whoops. Mrs. Marshall, because I could type in my, I do know that my one that I want is FF4. Whoops. 
put it into the other part. And let's see where it will take me. And then I can help give you guys an easier way. Well, that didn't help. Okay, so if we remember, this takes us here to my levels along the side. Now, yours may have numbers. If so, please message me. And we're going to go here to this one. So you could type in addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, word problems, or just go back to the level. And we're looking for FF4. And we're going to talk through one of the examples first, and then we're going to go ahead and do it. Now, if you notice, these will say, so we can use all operations. So what you're going to want is your keyword sheet. Okay. So we're going to learn with an example first. Okay. So the first one is asking me it. So remember, we always read it. A petri dish originally contained 136 bacteria. A scientist let the bacteria grow, and now there are 583 of them. How many more bacteria are there now? Okay. And I think... Okay, good. I wanted to make sure I was still recording. So what we're going to do, right? So I would be circling my numbers. Now on this one, because we're in IXL, um, you cannot mark on this. I almost did a word, um, the other problem with it where we would be doing marking it up. And I thought, you know what, let's practice in IXL because it will give you feedback right away. Okay, so on this one, I'd be circling my 136 bacteria, and I would also be circling 583. Now when it says of them, it's talking about bacteria. Okay, my question that I'd underline is how many more bacteria now? Okay, so my sentence back would be there are now blank bacteria and they give you that label already. Okay, so I know when I look at my keywords, how many more I'm subtracting. So I would box this and put a subtraction underneath. Okay, now here's where my problem gets. Am I going to do 136 minus 583 or am I going to do 583 minus 136? Well, if it's saying how many more are there now, it means I'm probably taking from what I started with. Um, I'm comparing what I started with to what I ended with. So clearly, if I say how many more are there, if I take what I started with, the 136, and take away the 583, I'd end up with a negative number. Well, that doesn't make sense because I'm saying how many more. So I have to start when I'm doing my subtraction with what I ended with and then um, subtract what I started with. Now, on these problems, you can go ahead and use a calculator. So I have my calculator here so I can show you. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to clear this. This was a different problem I was doing. Okay, so on this, I'm going to have 583 minus 136. And I end up with 140, or sorry, 447. And this is what they're showing you right here. Now, they also show us on here, which is important, about how we always start on the right. And we're going to subtract. And then notice that if I have three, I cannot take six away, so I regroup, which is a fancy word for what we're doing when we borrow, right? Because we're taking away the eights and giving a 10 over here. And they're gonna show us, right, as we kind of work down for that together. And we have right here, 447. So for this, because I'm not with you, and I'm not asking you to submit your work, I'm allowing you to use a calculator but clearly, I'd like for you, if you get an answer wrong, for you to pay attention to what it was asking, uh, or I'm sorry, to pay attention to how it's explaining, okay? And then make sure you're going to let me know. So I would like for you to work on FF4, and I'm going to put it in our notes, right, to get to an 80. Now, what I need to tell you is F is a much lower level and that's on purpose because if we are practicing on this. Can you pick out the keywords? Can you pick out what's important? Can you pick out what it's asking, right? Because this is where, where we practice our cues, okay? So tonight, so today, which would be during class, you're watching this and I want you completing this. And then um, I'm expecting that you have an 80 on those two lessons, okay? All right, I can't wait to see your work.